Good morning, or good evening, I guess, depending on how you look at it. And I just thought I would take a quick run out to the Field of Dreams and give you guys a quick tour. So, just pulled out of my driveway, and it's about a mile from the Field of Dreams cabin to the house. So, Stella, let's take about. Stella's coming with me for a ride. There's the cabin. Stella, my stinker, and I have uh, gone out to the Field of Dreams this morning here just to give you a quick tour. Um, the cabin, we'll come back to the cabin, but uh, there's the cabin behind me. And uh, just over, over here is the uh, fire pit, the gazebo, barbecue. So it's a nice little, uh, nice little area there for the, for the having the evening fires. There's the, there's the roller for the Field of Dreams. And let's walk out here and have a look at the dream field. So we're, uh, it's pretty, pretty chilly this morning, minus seven. Um, oh, Stella's having fun in the field. Aren't you, Stella? Here is the field of dreams now. It's been plowed and disked and harrowed. I don't know, I guess it may be starting to look like a runway. But here it is. So, um... You're looking pretty much due west here. It's about uh, 2,000 feet of grass. Um, there are trees at this end of the runway. So that uh, that makes it a little less usable. Actually, I guess there's trees at both ends of the runway, but the actual runway itself uh, ends, uh, I want to say 100 yards or so before the tree line. So it's not only going to be for flying the full-scale airplanes, but uh, as an alternate uh, flying site for the Patricia Region Air Modelers, which is our Dryden uh, uh, Radio Control Flying Club. This is this is sort of the plan B for the Model Airplane Club, so I'm catching up. I'm, I'm just, uh, just approaching the intersection here now. So, uh, what do you think, Stel? This would be the intersection of the crosswind runway. So, uh, I'm looking at about 210 degrees, I guess. Uh, that would be due south right about there. So yeah, 200 degrees maybe. And I haven't put a compass on it yet. And then there's the, the other side of it. So it uh, intersects here right about the middle. This is probably the highest point on the, on the runway, um, elevation wise. There's a bit of a hump right here that needs to be, I think I need to address that a little bit. And there's a bit of a low spot there that I'm thinking that hump in that low spot should make life a lot easier uh at the end of this this runway here if i had to guess i haven't paced it out if i had to guess i'd say it's probably about 16 to 1700 feet long um you can see there's some large poplar at the end uh those poplar are going to be firewood <laughs> for somebody so as far as uh full scale flying goes i think the east west runway will be the the longer runway so probably the more popular one um although um I know the, uh, the sixteen hundred feet probably doesn't scare off some of you guys with your with your cubs and your your bear hawk patrols those kind of things. They could probably land sideways on this runway. So so yeah, they won't be too worried about the shorter runway. And Stella, what you doing? You're all full of snow now. Yeah. So that's the that's the runway portion of the Field of Dreams. So that's the basic layout of the runways. We'll. Uh, We'll head back to the cabin. What do you think, Stel? Should we go look at the cabin? All right, here we go. So the cabin was uh, cabin was here when we bought the place. So it wasn't uh, it wasn't that we bought the place for the cabin. Uh, it was just kind of a nice bonus. So you want to go inside, think? Oop, there we go. So this is the cabin. Now the cabin is mostly finished. It's a little bit of a mess. We haven't done much with it other than uh, just do a little bit of cleaning. And here's the front room. It's all screened in front room. Um, exit out to the out to the fire pit and the the uh, gazebo, and then there's the there's the, the kitchen and the live, dining room living room area. Um, there's currently not much here in the way of creature comforts. Uh, there will be a TV and. Probably a DVD player or something here. Um, the first bedroom, 
there is a paddle here but no hydro so there's actually uh, i got a 3000 watt generator uh this room will be the bathroom um again work in progress and you can see there's a bunch of new flooring there because the floor is still plywood and then the back bedroom there's a big bunk bed here there's a there's a double or i guess that's a double bed or i guess that's maybe a queen and then the kitchen furniture is in here along with all the other stuff we didn't know quite where to put it so it's in here it's all pine if you like pine you're going to love this place so this is the uh, this is the uh, tour of the cabin and if you look right out the front window you're looking at about midway down the east-west runway so head out to are you coming there you go so it has propane stove propane fridge uh there is a microwave in there there's a uh, 3000 watt generator as i said earlier and then here's the fire pit in the gazebo we have uh our lawn chairs that we've been using for the fire empty beer bottles i don't know how they got there damn kids no just kidding that was us we uh We've been coming up for Saturday night bonfires. And we, we sit around the fire and drink beer and tell lies. One of the additional uh, features I forgot to mention was uh, I'm going to be putting up some corral panels and some fencing around there um, to have a, a bit of a pasture there for the folks who are so inclined to ride horses. So um, as not only as a uh, uh, fly-in destination, there are folks who might be interested in trailing their horses out here and uh, using the cabin as a, as a uh, base of operations because there are uh, there's miles and miles of trails around here so um, so that's another uh, uh, target market we'll call it for field of dreams